All right, proud of our guys. Play their tails off. Great college football game. Great atmosphere. Shut that door, please. Great, great college football game and a great atmosphere. Don't ask me what targeting is and don't ask me what a catch is because I don't know. And I haven't got an explanation, so don't ask me about that because I can't talk about it. And I, and, and I probably know less about a catch and targeting now than I did before the game. So, questions? Coach, drops were an issue at times this season ago, and we talked to you a couple times tonight. Just in the big moments, what's it going to take to turn that Yeah, did you – which which one are you talking about? The one that, that we got returned for a touchdown? Uh, what about the kid? He made two touchdowns too. Yeah, what about the I think we had, I think we had two – we had two drops tonight, right? I don't know how many times we threw the ball. 40. I think we had two drops. One of them was inopportune. You know, it was what it is. You know, the kid also plays ass off, you know, and thought he fought. And he not only did that, he made a hell of a play on punt, covering down. Um, you're going to ask about the decision to go for it? Yeah. yeah. Well, so six minutes, it was a little, six, a little over six minutes to go in the game. It was fourth and about a foot. We're up seven. Um, so you can pin them. And we did. We, you know, here it is. It's um, 6 one to go. I looked up the clock. They had to go 98 yards and we're up by seven. You know, if you go for it there and you don't get it, then they've got a short field and they had three timeouts. So best answer I can give you, if I had to do it again, that's the same. I, I, would, I would do that same, same decision. You guys have been running the ball pretty effectively, though. Yeah, we had. Yeah, we had. But still, though, if you look at what they've done traditionally, they've been really, really good in short yardage situations. And so when you go back and you look at it, it's fourth and it was, you know, three quarters of a yard probably. And so – I felt like we, if you look go if you go and you take the whole scope of the game, the their last the drive before that we got two sacks, we got them into third and forever, you know. So and we played really well defensively on back to back drives. So I felt good about it. And like I said, you know, it's it's easy to second guess now because they went 98 yards, you know. But I think the decision was sound. If I had to do it again, I'd do it again. It'd be different if there was like three minutes to go, but there were six. You'll evaluate uh, JT and also CJ Donaldson. Yeah, I thought, uh, I thought JT played really well. They're good up front. You know, they're good up front. Seven's a really good player. Uh, they got to us and, and, and had some pressure. Um, but I thought JT really did a nice job. He had some good checks. Thought he threw the deep ball well. He gave our guys a chance. Um, you know, I thought, we, I thought going into it, we'd make a few more plays down the field than we did. Um, and, but, but that's part of it. They, they made some plays on the ball. Um, but we made our share, and I thought he, in his first game out, first time playing in a long time, I thought he handled himself very well. He got hit, got hit, and bounced back, showed some resiliency. Um, but I thought he played well. C.J. Donaldson, y'all heard me talk about him the whole camp, so like, not surprised. He's a, he's a football player. How much did Doug Nielsen get to work on, on the right side, and then how much did it affect what you tried to build this last week or two when he got hurt and then he had to shuffle back? Well, I, I think it affected us. Um, but those guys, the, we had faith in. in Hubbard came in and played at right tackle, and we had we had faith in him. You know, they uh, we got we we rotated rotated those guys even during game week, and so we made the decision about a week ago that we were going to start uh, Jordan at guard. He really earned that opportunity, and and we wanted to get our five best out there. He earned that opportunity, and so we played Doug at tackle, and I thought he did a nice job. And when Jordan got hurt, he slid into guard, and Hubbard, you know, he, he had a penalty or two, but I thought he did a nice job. How much does this one sting not coming out of a win here, knowing that Pitt wasn't exactly at their best tonight? Um, who says they weren't at their best? I guess that's just me. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I don't know if they're at their best or not. You know, you obviously don't cover us because we played pretty well. All right? And I thought they played pretty well. You know, they. I'm not trying to be an asshole, all right? But they, they played pretty well. All right? And they got a really good football team, and I respect them a lot. I, I really do. Um, but we made a bunch of mistakes too for a first game. And I think that's what you're going to have, especially in a rivalry game when you play it in front of this type of this type of atmosphere. Um, both sides made some mistakes. Both sides capitalized on other teams' mistakes. Um, but I thought it was a good football game. Went down to the end. I thought we had a chance. Like I said, you know, I got to get an understanding what that was. Now we had two plays. We had the ball, uh, our play, the last play of the game that's going to get shown a lot, where I thought our guys' hands were under the ball, and if your hands are under the ball. Okay, then my understanding is it's a catch. All right, now I'm sure it's going to get explained to me whenever, you know, whenever they talk to me. They wouldn't talk to me after the game, but whenever they talk to me, I'm sure it's going to get explained to me. But there was a play over the middle with their tight end on their 
t uh, last touchdown drive on offense where the tight end goes across the middle and the ball moves. The ball moves. And so I just need to, I need to get a clear understanding of what that is. Because right now, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure the difference in the two plays. Just to follow up on the question about JT Daniels, I mean, he's in a situation where he puts the ball in the money, ends up now facing down seven. Did he show anything to you? Did you learn anything about him the way he conducts himself after that pick six? Well, I thought, and, and really, I mean, we've got to go back and look at how those are statistically kept, too, right? I mean, let's, let's, that was an interception. But it, it rule it, by stat, statistics, it is, but it's really not. Um, Here's the thing I love about JD. He's got an even keel. The moment wasn't too big for him. Thought he competed even down. It was a heck of a throw right there under duress on that last one that they ruled incomplete. But I was proud of him. I thought he, he stood in the pocket. He delivered the ball, um, and, and he did a, he did a nice job. Woods has helped. I mean, yeah, the yeah, the, it did. That that affected the game without without question. You know, our best corner, he left. You know, what was it end of the first quarter? I think. Yeah, and. Um, you know, that hurt us. And then the targeting penalty, which, you know, it, it probably is a good call. But I thought we had two other ones. Like, I'm just confused. Like, I, I, I McCormick's, that's probably a good call. I'm just confused. And it's hard. Like, don't get me wrong. It's really hard to officiate this game. And the targeting is, is really difficult to call. Um, I thought the one on Bryce at the end of the game was that, that – those are the types of hits we're trying to take out of the game. So, I, I don't know. But it did. Those, those injuries – to Charles Woods and then McCormick getting getting the targeting that did hurt us. We were thin back there. Yeah, the four man defensive front a little bit more, especially second quarter. I'm wondering was some of that in response to Charles or was that in the game? No, it, it was in. They played a lot of six offensive linemen tonight. You know, I think they were a little thin at tight end, so they went to six, even sometimes seven offensive linemen. So we were just trying to go big to to match them. You know, a lot of new people in the secondary, kind of happy with it, except maybe the tackling. Yeah, we. We can play better defensively. You know, I thought we showed some signs of playing the way we're capable of, but just as a as a whole, we can play better. You know, our our standard is 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 probably better than that. We play with great effort, play with great effort, create a lot of takeaways. I mean, a lot of uh, negative plays, not takeaways, create a lot of negative plays. But you know, they 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 move the ball the ball better than than we thought they would coming in. We did a good job versus the run. Got to do a better job in the pass game. It may be harder to appreciate in a loss, but just the atmosphere, did you get a chance? Oh, to it was a tremendous it? atmosphere. It was not, you know, in between the third and fourth quarter that, you know, our people and, and their people trying to have a yell out on, on Sweet Carolina. It's just, I mean, it was, the, it was a great college football game, you know, and I don't think we played our best. They didn't play maybe as good as they can. I don't know. But it was a hell of a game for a first one. You know, I thought we represented ourselves pretty well on national TV. Um, I think this rivalry represented itself pretty well on national TV. Um, I hate that it came down to that. You know, because I, I I don't I hate that it came down to that, but that's what it was. Okay, thanks, coach. All right, thank y'all.